Good day everyone, Phoenix Princess here and welcome back to another vlog. Okay, you're wondering why I'm doing this? Because while it's also Easter today, it's also April 1st and you know what that means. Yep, April Fools, the one holiday no one really actually cares about as much. Hi. <laughs> so, why am I doing a vlog on April Fools? Well, because throughout my life, April's Fools for me hasn't been exactly kind at all. And I have two st and I have two very interesting stories that involve that. Both which include in high school and <laughs> not a good not a good time for me. <laughs> anyway. April anyway. Uh what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Alright, it was in high school and normally we're not normally in not normally in on April Fools, it's very rare it does, but when we are, it's Literally like Hunger Games High School Edition. I am not joking. I mean, no one really gets hurt or man or seriously traumatized, but uh, nearly just a lot of jump scares and nearly faint heart attacks, that sort of thing. And if you went to my school, you would know. If you went to my school, and let's just say it was not a kind place to be. <laughs> it was bad, like ha like Hunger Games, but I'm not joking. Oh, so anyway. I was, anyway, I was the target to a lot of bullying back in school because I wasn't exact, because I wasn't exactly well liked and people thought I was weird, so, and if, and if, and if people you hated went to, that you went to primary school with, that also went, to, goes to your secondary school, they're bound to spread rumours about you to new people, it's how it works, apparently. <laughs> anyway, I was a target to a lot of it and I actually tried a lot of times not to go to school on April Fools but my mother always says to suck it up and go so apparently so unfortunately I did there weren't a lot of it there weren't no there weren't a lot of April Fools where everyone just played cruel pranks on me there weren't that kind of people most of the time I just got a lot of jump scares, nothing major or anything. Not like the whoopee cushion or anything else. Just a lot of jump scares, that's it. Which wasn't so bad half the time. And after a while, you know when it's coming, so it's not that bad anymore. Anyway, that anyway, the second story is one particular April Fools that's probably <laughs> that I practically probably scared a teacher for life. I don't know if this is funny or cruel. You tell me. Anyway. <sighs> anyway, it was during, I think I was in year 10, uh, yeah, it was year 10 science, and I had the science teacher who actually was very fun, supportive, he made class fun, so he wasn't really, he wasn't really hated like most of the teachers in my school, but I don't know why, but I actually wanted to play a prank on him, I don't know what came over me, and again, I was an impulsive teenager, so probably that's why, <laughs> anyway, before anyway, it was a day, it was the day before April Fools, and I decided that I probably was gonna give him the scare of his life. So right before, so actually, I think I should tell my plan first. My plan was I was actually going to. <laughs> oh god, this actually sounds stupid now that I remember it. Um, I was planning to dress up as the Grim Reaper and come into the doorway saying I was claiming his soul. <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't know why I thought that it was stupid <laughs> oh good lord <laughs> anyway so five minutes before the end of class I told him sir you might want to watch out tomorrow because you might be expecting someone and before I and I was standing in the door before I left I was standing in the doorway with an evil grin on my face and I actually did an evil laugh I would do it, but my mother's asleep and I'd rather not wake her up and have a yell in my ears again. And after I did the life, I could see the sheer terror on his face and his eyes. I think I actually scared him. Oh, but the prank didn't go through because, you know, want to know why? Because the next day, the, the next day, my head of year deci decided to put me in isolation. If you're not wondering, if you're wondering what that is, basically it's just a small room where you're stuck in a black cube all day, where you're just stuck in a little cube all day doing work. I didn't even do anything wrong, they just love sticking me in there so they didn't have to deal with me. Anyway, so that kind of backfired and I was actually looking forward to doing it. Uh, but it was not all to, but it didn't go all to waste because the ex 
the next day when I had him again, he came up to me with fear on his face and, to, and asked me, um, what was going to happen yesterday? And I, and I said, huh? I would, and he generally said this, apparently he was looking at the door every five minutes wondering what was coming through. <laughs> oh my god. He was, the class told yeah, he generally said that and that he was shaking and he was stuttering. Oh my god, I wish I could have seen that. <laughs> I, and then... I realized, and then I just told him what I was going to do. <laughs> then I told him what I was going to do. And then, here's something shocking. He took probably the biggest sigh of relief and he generally laughed. I have never heard him laugh before, so it was shocking. And I widened my eyes. I asked, uh, sir, is everything, are you okay? And he told me he was fine and that it was, that it was a good prank that I generally scared him. That was something I have never done. <laughs> I generally scared a teacher thinking that the Grim Reaper was going to come for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I wish I could have seen his face on that day when he was looking at the door every five minutes. Okay, I don't know if that is cruel or funny, probably a bit of both, but you tell me. So yeah, that's my so those are my April Fool's experiences. What we So those were my so those were my April Fool experiences. Okay, so question of the day, what was your April what were what were your April Fool's jokes and why? Leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to give this a like don't give don't forget to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, that's it. Till next time guys.